Remix. It's week one of the National Football League, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Bills and the Jets under the lights on Monday night. There's a few guys I had to get rid of. There's certain guys I'm just not going to play with. Pause. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive, as we have, at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New York Jets. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now, we talk about the phrase, last but not least, that qualifies here. It's the final game of week one and one of the most anticipated debuts around these parts in a long time all eyes on the new number eight Aaron Rodgers making his first start oh, damn just like that huh and we drop you into the start of this next possession the score seven nothing Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Bruce Hall. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now it's third and four. Now you can exhale. The season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. Now Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. You just need the first down, baby. He's going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How oh, my God. Come on, bro. You stepping back? You supposed to be run blocking. What the? Three and out. I think Yo. Yo. Two scores could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot in the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Paul again on second down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Rodgers now on first down. I just had to get rid of that one. Trying to find Brees Hall out of the backfield. But it'll be second down. Damn, I should have did a play with a running back. Damn it. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a hole here. Still a little shy of the first down. Who's there? Aaron Rodgers can't still run, baby. Take him back to his cow days. Giving him the first. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield. Hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Oh, shit. Let me see. Uh, is he running a short as well? Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Caught by Kyle. I'm trying to use him as a damn screen. Just four yards, and it'll be second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late, 
because by the time he was able to secure it. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10 yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And a stop will come inside the five of the four. And nice put that outside. Closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. Touchdown, Jets. Y'all never see me throw the ball to the running back. Oh, did he just do the thank you leg? Cool. <laughs> Crazy is in the building. You know, he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time Charles A targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung. Come on, defense. What the hell, defense? Damn. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this man, be man, a few man. weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see O-line and be faster. Season and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. Oh, man. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Throwing is Rodgers. Dang. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there? Re Y'all, damn, defense, what the fuck? Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's Rodgers to throw. He'll get this to Lazard. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was why effective, he... able to stop him before he could get a good hit. Why I got caught in twice, bro? Here's Rodgers. Threw out my whole damn timing, man. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On third down, here's Hall. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Uh, damn it. To throw, it's Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're not panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. 
They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Motion man left is Lazard. Now it's Rodgers. Oh, come on, baby. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And the slot man goes in motion left. He's going that way. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cobb. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 19. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They don't bump each other off. Into the red zone. It's right. Ah, I'm trip. I'm trip. I'm trip. I'm trip. Damn it. I was so thinking about making sure they didn't bump each other off. Motherfucker. I was so worried about thinking about them bumping each other off, man. Let's see what they can do on this play. Cobb in motion right. They go back to the air after the INT on the last drive. I this up. is incomplete. I hiked the ball. I'm making call it audible. All right, man. I got to get my head into this. Second down now. Why are they so bad? At, like, oh my God! Two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. I think I should really do this one. What the fuck is he doing? Bruh. He is messing up the damn. Back to throw. Rogers. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it. I had to hike the ball fast, bro. Cause what the hell was he doing? Why did he change the damn route, man? At some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. We're not even at halftime. Why did it change the fucking route? Rodgers to throw for it on four. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Oh, and now some trickery. They what the fuck? The That'll be caught. Now the Jets going to use this. Bro, might have the pressure twice. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Caught the defense napping a little bit there, expecting the spike, faked it, completed the pass. You have to be prepared for everything nowadays. You can't just go off of the look. Oh, they're going to spike it and relax. Now they complete passes downfield, and usually in key situations, this is a tough one for a defense. Rodgers again now. Hey, he'll let this go deep for Lazard. Bro, you ain't even, you ain't even trying to go catch the ball, bro. Trying to get something positive to happen here. Now I see what everybody's talking about when they were like the, the playing the, the pass defense on this game is ridiculous. Now I see. Throwing now is Rodgers. Going to look deep for Wilson. This is caught inside the 15. 
I didn't press to do no damn spike, bro. The game did that. I didn't press to do no damn spike. The fuck? Did, did it flip the plate? Oh, man. This is not even what I called, bro. It's not what I called, man. Again, they'll throw with Rogers. It's not even what the fuck I called, bro. But it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Not what I call, bro. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jets are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Second half starts with a run by Hall. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. All again on second down. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 67 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go-round. They won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. Ball on the 47-yard line. Second and back. six. Ball again. He's and tired. Get him out, coach. Take him out the game. That one a first down pick up of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive brewing right here. Hey, 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 one more time. On first and ten, it's Hall. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Brees Hall, already his second touchdown here this opening weekend. And the Jets are an extra point away from drawing level. Queens is in the building. Going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his weight. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat probably that. Probably should have passed the defense. Defense. They they from the down after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wins in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They're both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. A handoff for Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? 
Rodgers to throw on second down. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Yeah, we know what it is. They'll run with Hall. Oh, uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain there on the play, and that's going to lead him block with him. a fourth down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42 yard line. A big roll. What the hell was that? Fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Out of the gun. Oh, the my God. The damn. Guard. It's a run play, bro. What you stepping back into the backfield for? Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. On play action, it's Rodgers. This gameplay is so slow. I'm used to playing at a much faster pace. This gameplay is slow. I got to adjust to that. I didn't mean to drop back that far. That's pussy moves. Now a first and ten at the eleven. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall with now three week one touchdowns. And the Jets have scored again in this third quarter. This time to move out in front. He's got the hat trick. Three touchdowns now. Did you throw yours? Did you throw yours? I there? didn't have mine. You've got yours. You've got one of those Abe Lincoln hats. Yeah, and that's still piping. They're going to give up a touchdown. But I tell you, <laughs> this game Chance dramatic ass. Up now to start their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Rogers now to throw. How you? How did he get, bro? How the hell did he get in front of him? This is what I'm saying. Like the wide receivers are so damn slow on it, bro. They don't even want to go for the damn ball. Yeah, but who dug him? Old as hell. Look at that. He didn't even try to go for the ball. He let the defensive back beat him for the damn ball. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And then, of course, he went four for four in the last drive. They score. God, leave, bro. So the Damn. So football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Come on, X. Cheer with all the dramatics. Now Hall to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Oh, oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw from three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And it's scratching. Fuck the linebacker, go for the damn safety, man. <laughs> he up and going to block the damn linebacker. He's running all the way across the damn field. Go block the damn safety, man. He just made a great play there. Rodgers now 
Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be tapping right on the chalk of the 45. Seven catches for him now. This last one, the first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter. Parker can watch him drive. And it would be a good a touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. 173 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Here now, second and four. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll be taken first down. at the 44-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. Damn animation's messing up my damn play caller. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's complete to Kyle. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball on a oh, my God. And maybe a no blocking. There. He's had his way in this Pick one, your man up, man. Get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. And he's caught. He's mad. He's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 19. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Here's a give to Hall. Jets have taken a fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going. <laughs> Look at her, Rogers. Now the defense needs to step up. Okay. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll run. It's Hall. Nice I did the stiff arm too soon. I should have waited. And this is too long, so I'm about to put this back down to like nine minute quarters, probably ten minute quarters. Those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Hey, man. On first down, Rodgers. They took so long to fucking adjust the damn route, bro. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice it was off, but the damn game. And forcing the incompletion. They'll run here with Hall. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did.
I'm gonna run right at him too. Here's Hall again. Damn, didn't get the first down because I was good at an angle. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. Come on, get off the damn screen. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Come on, gang. Don't be stupid. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Why did it take so long? Why did it take so long? Man, I pressed X three damn times, bro. is once again unable to stop him. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been... I mean, great for Monday Night Football with the game too darn long. Take it back down to like 10 minutes. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. Damn. First downs. Oh, line. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. Oh my God, y'all! What the hell? Y'all went to double team. Nobody pick. Nobody pick up the mic. Nobody picked up the mic. Now that's a nice play. Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands. Whatever way they have to get the ball this is, this back. Is a bad now can play they stand altogether. tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, that was just a bad play. Delay of game. And they'll accept that penalty. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. And they'll send the tight end in motion. All the damn animations, bro. I told him to block. I'm glad I looked at it again. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Damn it. The why are the receivers so fucking slow, bro? Why are the defensive backs faster than the receivers? Game in the fourth quarter is this offense. They still got time out. Why do we not? Why are you down? This game's stupid, bro. And then I can't even get the ball height. Why? Why is what is this game? Oh my god, they purposely trying to make this game get fucked up. 
as they bury him behind the line. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Back to throw, Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Charles Game over. They just take the knee there. You're asking the question that I'm asking as well. I don't take knees, bitch. We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get I'm gonna get you your run, your yard back for though. Stats or for what reason? We've seen it happen in college. My bad. In the NFL. The miracle of the metal lands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Another run on second down. Trying to cover up. Oh, and I ain't getting you all back. <laughs> tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds. I should have done it straight up instead of doing a shotgun. My bad. On third down, here's Hall. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. Yeah, we got to make these minutes shorter. Take it down to 10 minutes. Anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark 56 an bro. season for He them. was 74%. They got that in their pocket now. So All right, y'all. Queens is in the building. Remix. The week one we'll be back with more. By a field goal. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So I did not mean to do that. My bad. Crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Man, carried the ball 36 times. I don't have no favorite receiver on this team, so. Anybody can catch it. I don't care. At least nobody gave him a sack. That's one of the moves we made. When we got rid of some guys off the team. For us to have three real good cornerbacks. Uh, why did they score so much? Randall Cobb out here still returning punts and kicks as old as he is.